In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use DocuSign Identity Verification to verify the identity of your signers before they can access and sign your documents. We'll go through what DocuSign Identity Verification is, how it works, how you can set it up in your DocuSign account, how your signers can actually verify their identity. So what documents are accepted and what methods can they use? And we'll finish with a live demo so you can see the experience from the signers perspective. So let's start with what DocuSign Identity Verification is. It's a set of tools within DocuSign that ensures that the signing, the person signing your document is actually who they say they are. You can either choose to ask your signers to provide answers to specific questions, verify their identity using uh, their phone number, or upload a government ID and take a selfie just to check that they are actually the person on the ID. I love this one because it's pretty hard to fake. DocuSign Identity Verification is very helpful in documents where there's a lot at stake. Financial agreements or documents that are highly confidential and contain sensitive information. And it's also really helpful if you don't want the person who's signing the documents to be able to deny that they were the ones who indeed signed the documents in court. Because yes, this happens a lot. You have no idea how many lawyers contact me to be an expert witness in litigation cases they handle where the signers deny being the ones who actually signed the documents. Anyway, now let's take a look at how to set this up in DocuSign. So I'm now logged in my DocuSign account in the admin settings. And by scrolling down, I can find the identity verification um, tab. You will only get access to this if you do have DocuSign Identity Verification in your plan. And I believe that you need a Business Pro subscription at least if you want to get a free trial. Otherwise, you can purchase it on your own directly in the plan and billing section. And it costs an average of $2 USD per verification. It's $3.30 in Australia. And in case you don't see the option activated here, you will need to either reach out to your account executive and ask them to send you a quote, or you can try to purchase it here directly, but sometimes you can't do it, you have to message them. Anyway, you'll know whether it's activated or not by just being able to see this tab in your account. Once you're here, you will be able to see all the different verification methods that you can add to your DocuSign envelopes and templates. I'll walk you through those very quickly. ID with liveness means that the signer will be required to take a video selfie um, and upload their government ID because we want to check that they're alive. You wouldn't really want to sign a deal with someone who's not alive, I guess. Uh, the ID verification without liveness means that you can technically sign a, doc a contract with someone who's dead. I don't know, it's weird. Why wouldn't you require liveness? I just don't get it. But here, joke aside, the signer just needs to upload their ID, but there is no um, need for them to move their head and take a selfie to verify that the person who's uploading the ID is actually the person who is uploading the ID. So I don't really understand why you would want to use this and not this one. Anyway, it's here. Then you have the knowledge base authentication. So this one will require the recipient to provide public information. So answers to public answers to questions where the information is actually public. I don't think this is really safe because public means public. So Technically, if it's public, someone else can find that information. And so questions could be, for example, please provide us with your last address. That could be easily found if someone wanted to pretend they were someone else. Phone authentication just means that your recipients will need to authenticate with their phone number using SMS or text or phone call. I don't think this is super safe because you're not really confirming the identity of the person. You're confirming that the signer has access to the phone number they said they, has ac they had access to. So I don't think this is really, really safe. I would not even consider this being identity verification, but I mean, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer at the end of the day. And all the other ones in between that I have not mentioned are not for the US, they're either either for the EU or for Canada. They just have slight variations to um, what's happening uh, to the requirements for ID verification in the US. Not gonna go over those in this video. But now that we know that we've got our ID verification set up in our account, we can go to our templates or our agreements to send a document and require the verification from our signer. We could do this in a template. We could do this in an envelope directly. I'm not going to use a template. I'm simply going to create a new envelope with a new document. If you haven't watched the tutorials on how to create envelopes and templates, I recommend you do that first. Otherwise, you're going to get lost. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. I used to be a DocuSign consultant working directly for DocuSign. But since 2019, I founded Solution Consulting 
We are an agency that specializes in helping organizations who are drowning in paperwork streamline all their document workflows. If you deal with lots of paperwork, you can save hundreds of hours for you and your team by automating the boring stuff like manual contract creation and signature chase. For this, you need to map out your workflow, learn how to use DocuSign, create your DocuSign templates, and integrate DocuSign with all the apps that you use every day. But if you don't want to do this on your own, that's exactly what we do for our clients. You can book a strategy session with me and my team using the link just down below. During the call, we'll map out your workflow and propose an implementation plan that suits your needs. But if you're more of a DIY person and you're just starting with DocuSign, I recommend that you download their DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet. It contains all the things that you need to get started with DocuSign on the right foot. But for now, let's go back to the topic of the video. I've just uploaded our custom development agreement, the one that we send to our clients when we implement us. And I'm going to click on customize to add my ID verification step. And here I can choose which verification method I want my signers to have to go through. And so those are the methods that we just saw in the admin settings earlier. I'm going to leave DocuSign ID verification with liveness, which means that signers will have to upload a picture of their ID and a selfie as well, moving their head from left to right to make sure that they're alive. So let's just click on next and I'm simply going to add a signature field in here and I'm going to click on send. And now let's take a look at what's happening on my phone. I'm going to show you how it works from my phone because it's just simpler to, to do so. I could also access the envelope from my desktop computer and upload a picture of my ID from there. Or I could start the verification process on my computer and then flash a QR code using my phone to take a picture of my ID in case I don't have the ID saved on my computer. Here I just need to click on next and pick the country of my ID. I've got it set to France and I'm going to upload my French passport. For those who didn't know, I am still French. Now it tells me how to take pictures and how not to take pictures. It might be a little bit challenging because of all the lights that I've got in here, but we'll see. So we need to avoid glare as much as possible. That should be fine. And now I just need to record a selfie. and click on upload recording. And now I just need to wait. Very, very important that your signers don't close the page. If they refresh the page, then they will have to go through the verification process again, and you will have to pay for verification again. I've done it two times before recording this video, and it took less than one minute each time. It was very fast, but the first time it failed, and I had to go through the verification process again which means I was charged twice. So it's not perfect. I've been redirected. My, my identity was confirmed. Before I sign, I want to show you how you can track the verification process yourself from your DocuSign account. If we go to agreements and send, then we can see here that we have this document is still pending verification, right? It, it still has not been signed. It says that I viewed it, but it, it, it has not been signed. And if I click on view details for my verification, it will say that, that I've passed verification because I've, I've done so. You will get notification in case the verification fails. And you can also download a copy of the ID that your signers have um, uploaded. By default, DocuSign does not give you access to this, but you can request a feature called ID Evidence that will allow you to extract all this information and store it. For now, we can see that I've passed the verification, I've completed the envelope, and ID verification was also passed. You can also track how many attempts they've gone through. For example, if the first one has failed, you can check that. Here it says that I've just done it once, but in the previous envelope, which I can show you here, I've actually tried three times. The first two times I failed. DocuSign also provides this information through API, so you don't need to log into your DocuSign account to check whether people have passed or failed verification. You can get access to this information directly in the apps that you use every day if you build an integration with DocuSign. So this is how DocuSign identity verification works. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And again, if you don't want to struggle with DocuSign alone, you can book a strategy session with me and my team using the link just down below. During the call, we'll map out your current process and propose the best DocuSign implementation plan for your specific needs. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy signing. Ciao.